70,000 tons of metal, 2024. Day 3, exclusive recap. After two days and nights of non-stop heavy metal action, the ship docks in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. Featuring picturesque white sand beaches, crystal clear waters, and various attractions to indulge in. You should check out the 70,000 Tons of Metal official forum. This is where many survivors plan their activities, exchange ideas, and definitely the place to post your wish list for 70,000 Tons of Metal 2025. Cruisers had an awesome day exploring the island. Some opted for artist escorted shore excursions. Where else can you mingle side by side with your favorite artists other than 70,000 tons of metal? Hi, this is Frederick and Kenneth from Blind Guardian. Guardian. Just came from the dolphin encounter. I really loved hanging out with uh, the fans and being very close and in touch with each other. Amazing to get in contact with the people, have a beer together, to have a little talk or even lunch or dinner or something like that. And I, I like that. Because it's not happening every day that you get the chance to do that. Very much appreciated. Hey, Mello, focus. This is Frank Blackfire from Sodom. This is Tony Merger from Sodom. 70,000 tons. It's a fucking maniac. It's a cruiser where you can snorkel with sharks and clear metal all together united from the whole world. These yeah. people come all over the world. One, one family. This would be keep us united. Everybody should be happy. Let's have a drink. Let's go music and uh, let's be a whole family. I'm in Puerto Plata, like bands that you listen to your whole life and they are here and they are walking around with the fans and hanging out and yep, that's the best memory. Yeah! Janika from Finland and having the best time of my life! I would describe the festival as a fantastic melding of people that love all different kinds of metal, that foundationally have a sense of community that is unlike any other. Best fucking cruise ever! Uh, it was an unbelievable experience. Good music, good beer, much beer. <laughs> We're in Dominican Republic. It's fucking awesome. We're having the best time. Just fucking buy a ticket and come. Even if you buy yourself, just get on that ship. Yeah! While cruisers have the time of their lives, the pool girls and pool boys, our international ambassadors of metal, have a photo shoot on the beach. Check out 70,000tons.com for our mobile and desktop pool girl and pool boy of the month calendars. After a day in paradise, it's time to head back to the ship for more great shows on 70,000 tons of metal. Those who seek the holy grail, beware. It's kept under lock and key by Caribbean crusaders, Gravedigger. When you get hungry, an excellent place to enjoy a civilized dinner with new friends, the main dining room on deck three is complimentary. Pro tip, going to be hungry later? You can order a steak to go. Steak, sloppy steak, sloppy steak, go on! A black mess is unveiled on the pool deck in the dead of night with Krzysztof Drabikowski's Batyushka. Of all the bars that never close, which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. There's always one handy before the next show. And true hope lives beyond the coast, for you will be brought deliverance by Blind Guardian. Make sure to share and subscribe and stay tuned for our next recap featuring jamming in international waters, artist clinics, the belly flop contest, and more great shows.
This is 70,000 tons of metal, the original, the world's biggest heavy metal cruise. 